I have five, count them five, of the biggest gaming news stories for this week. Originally I had 50, but they told me to stop. And lucky you, I'm gonna run through them all in this nice, tidy package, so you can impress your friends while partying this weekend with all of your gaming knowledge. So let's do it. Number five, Dragon Quest XI is heading to PlayStation 4 and Nintendo 3DS in Japan. Now both games will feature the same story, but each edition has a totally different visual presentation. Dragon Quest XI on PlayStation 4 runs on Unreal Engine 4 and looks gorgeous, with a third person perspective while the 3DS version lets you switch between top down 3D visuals or 2D sprites. I may just have to go with the 2D sprites so I can feel like a kid playing games again all night long in my parents' basement. Nothing to worry about. It's so wonderful down there. Please let me out. Number four, sadly, Silent Hills is as dead as the Contra series, which breaks my heart twice, but that's not stopping Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima and filmmaker Guillermo del Toro from collaborating on a new project. Del Toro told IGN that he's staying in touch with Kojima and the pair are working on something else together. Yup, I'm in. Just tell me where I can give you all of my money. And please, please bring back Contra while you're at it. Number three, Square Enix has admitted that making Rise of the Tomb Raider a timed exclusive on Xbox wasn't an easy decision. But Phil Rogers, the company's CEO of the Americas and Europe, explained Microsoft's passion for the project has taken the game and series to a whole new level. Unless you're on PS4. You have to wait a year for that whole new level. Number two, Halo 5 Guardians won't have split screen support, meaning you can't play with your buddy on the couch in the Xbox One exclusive. 343 Industries studio head Joss Holmes said this was a tough but necessary decision, allowing the team to build a game that takes advantage of the console without compromising their goals. Sadly, my goal to shoot aliens in the face with a friend playing by my side in Halo 5 is now impossible. I need different goals. And number one, Sony has revealed that the company has sold over 25 million PlayStation 4 consoles. That's right, the PS4 is actually outpacing the hardware sales of the PS2 currently, which is the best-selling system of all time. Holy freaking moly. I censored myself there. I wanted to say worse things. And that's your top five gaming news stories of the week. Be sure to check out the rest of this week's Daily Fix episodes for more news, and we'll see you again right back here in one week. You have seven days. Make it count. Make it important. Do something great. Or just sit here and read IGN. That's what I'd do. It's what I have to do. It won't let me do anything else.